Hello everyone, my name is Milia. Welcome to my channel. This is the first update for Nightmare on Penny Street. It was created by Jaylon and Valerie. I will have both of them linked down below. Uh, this is a project that is all about horror movies, which I I just love that. Um, I don't look very Halloweeny today because I feel like spring because it's sunny outside and I'm I'm very excited. <laughs> But, yeah, we're gonna update this project. I have 13 products um, in the project, and we are rolling out two this month. Um, also, this is my first update, but it's like the fourth update for everybody else, because they started in October and I started last month. So, there's that. But, let's jump right into the products. Uh, the first prompt that I had gotten is the ring, which the prompt for that is item you want to expose the ring of the pan. I'm sorry I'm looking down, but I have the prompts here. So I had chosen the Catrice bronzer, um, and I want to show the second ring to show. Um, it's not moving. It's not moving up here. I don't know why, but it's just it's it's just not moving. I've used it eight times, and I feel like it looks exactly the same as it did last month. So I don't know what's up with that, but yeah, I'm gonna keep working on it. The next prompt that I got is was the Exorcist, and that is something that makes your head spin with the light. I chose a single shadow from Sample Beauty. This is the shadow. It's just a silver shadow. It's very sparkly and very beautiful. I have it on my lids today. I can give you a swatch. It's so pretty. I don't think you can tell how pretty it actually is, but it's it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, my goal was just to use it five times, and I used it four. So I have one use left in this product, and I will for sure have that done by next update. But I won't replace this yet, because at least now I know I have at least one product. At least one product rolling out next update, which is my goal. I always want to have something to roll out in all of my updates. So, yeah, I just have it in this empty magnetic palette. But I'm going to use it one more time, and it will for sure be a goal hit next month. Then I got the Invisible Man, which is something that erases, and I chose the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Concealer. Uh, I it's an airless pump, so and it's one of those that you twist. So yeah, this is where I was in the introduction. This is where I am now. I feel like it, it's filthy. Uh, I feel like it's, it might be done by next update. I've used it seven times this month. Um, I'm hoping that it'll be an empty next month, but I don't know. I have no idea, but we, we'll see. We'll see. Then I got... A Nightmare on Elm Street, which is a dupe for a product you dream about purchasing. And I had a very hard time with this prompt, but then I decided to roll in the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is the super size, because um, it's a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, which I really want to try. So I rolled in this one. I put a 20 use goal on it and I've used it five times. 
So we have 15 more uses to go. So I don't think it'll be rolling out next month either. But maybe maybe in a couple months. Uh, then I got Pet Cemetery, which is a graveyard item. And I rolled in the Wet n Wild Primer Serum. I did not make very good progress on this, as you can see, that's my introduction, and this is where I am now. I used it three times, so, yeah, I did not do a good job with this primer. I do like the primer, but I just use other primers. Uh, the Shining, which is Twins, uh, a product you have a backup of, um, and I picked the NYX Eyeshadow Primer. I have a backup of this primer, so I took out the stopper. There's still a lot of product on the wand, but I took out the stopper pretty early on in the month, but we all know once you take out the stopper, there's so much more product in there. I've used this 36 times this month, uh, which I know that's way too many compared to how many days there are in a month, but uh, I do my makeup twice sometimes, so there's that. I use it every single time I do my makeup, and I'm hoping it'll be done by next month. But, well, I don't know. <clears throat> the next movie I got was Friday the 13th, which is a summer-themed product. This is not summer-themed, but it's summery. It's the Joey palette from the Revolution X Friends collab, and it's... It's a very summery color story, so I picked this. My girls use it 10 times and I've used it 4. I'm also wearing this palette on my eyes today. Um, I really like this palette. I think it's so fun and it's so summery, which it's not summery yet, but like, it's, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> But I've used it four times. I'm really enjoying using this palette. And I'm going to keep working on it. Paranormal Activity, which is a product that never seems to disappear. And I chose a blush because I thought blush never disappears, right? So I rolled in the Essence Crystal Power face palette. There's two blushes and two highlighters in here. I rolled in the shade Inner Happiness and my goes to heat pan on it. There's pan on it. I used it four times. I, I'm very happy because it's usually very difficult to heat pan on blush. But it feels a bit weird that I rolled it in for a prompt uh, of an item that never disappears. And then I heat pan in four uses. But hey, it's it's a goal met. So I'm, I'm happy about that. And it's a blush pan. So that's great. So that's product number one rolling out. The next movie I got is The Thing, an item you're not sure how to use. I rolled in the Onyx primer from Makeup Revolution. It's, it's black. The primer is black, which is why I bought it, because I love black. And I was like, I'm going to get a black primer. Um, shouldn't have done that. I've used it once. My goats use it 10 times. I feel like I want to declutter it. And I hate to declutter stuff. But it's actually black. 
and it it's not full on black on my face but it's like a dark gray color once I put it on my face and I mean the foundation does cover it but it's just no and then the black gets everywhere because it's on my hands and then it it gets everywhere and I don't like it the primer does nothing <laughs> nothing for me uh so I feel like I want to declutter this product also the dropper is broken so there's also that um but I'm gonna use it for another month and see if I can use it more than once and we'll see what happens with it then I got Fright Night which is a red item or vampire themed product and I chose a red nail polish and this is the second one that's gonna roll out today my goal was to use it five times I used it once but it's it's so dry it's so dry I used it the one time it was very difficult to paint my nails with it it was very difficult to work with it's very old um it's probably seven years old at this point and so it's just it's it's not worth it i'm going to declutter it um oh it's the Mavala nail polish in the shade toronto i'm i'm gonna declutter it it's i i can't wear it anymore then i got child's play with which is something with childlike packaging and I chose an essence lipstick it has all of these like stars on it and stuff also it's star shaped like the bullet is it's what I'm wearing on my lips today my goal is to use it five times and I've used it twice um, it's not the color I typically wear, but, you know, it's, I'm gonna use it three more times, hopefully by the next month, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, the second to the last prompt that I rolled in in the introduction was The Grudge, uh, which is item you wish you hadn't purchased. The Smashbox Halo Cheek Palette. I I don't like it. These blushes are very, very dry. Like, they're very dry. Um, and patchy. I can't wear them on top of my foundation because they lift off my foundation. This highlight is too dark, so this is the only one that I'm able to use. Um, I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. I, It's an okay highlighter, but I regret buying the entire palette when there's literally one shade that works. Um, my goal is to use it 10 times, I've used it 4 times. So I have 6 more uses to go. I mainly just use this shade, which is called soft pearl um so that's pretty much the only thing i use in this palette but that's, that's and the last prompt is night of the living dead item that helps wake your skin and i rolled in the Revol makeup revolution tea tree smoothing soothing essence spray this one um, I use it in the mornings. It's just a nice refreshing mist to wake up my skin. Uh, this is where I started. This is where I am now. I've used it 24 times, or that's how many times I've tallied that I've used it. I've probably used it more than that. But yeah, I think two more months 
and we should be done with this. Okay, but now we're gonna roll in two new items because I hit pan on the blush and I'm gonna declutter the nail polish. So I already rolled my prompts and the first prompt that I got was the Blair Witch Project, which is something black. And I went with packaging. Uh, this is Anne Catry's face palette. Um, this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm just gonna use this 15 times in any capacity. And yeah, that's gonna be my goal for this. And then I rolled in the poltergeist, which is something that's always there, uh, which is a must have. And I chose Milani Make It Last setting spray. I love this setting spray, and I pretty much always have this in my collection. So I want to use this up, which we'll see how that goes. But I will mark it after I'm done filming, and we'll see how much progress I make on this. It's 60 mils, so it's not that big, but I'm panning other setting sprays. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But that's what I'm going to roll in for the poltergeist. And that is everything for this update. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss out on my future updates for this project and the many other projects that I'm doing on my channel. I hope I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!